Hello, love, and welcome back to my channel. And is your priestess, Johnny Divine, coming to you on this beautiful morning, afternoon, evening. Whenever you see this message, you're right on time for destiny to speak to you. There's a message in this reading that Spirit is trying to re reach you with. <laughs> Tap in. Take what resonates, what doesn't, throw it away for those who they do. Like, share, subscribe sometimes throughout the video. First cut out, spirit is not playing. You have family, friends, connections, unity, bonds. But what about them? I'll be getting some positive feedback. Let's hope so. We get tired of reading those karmic predictions, negative energies in our readings. When are we going to get back to love, y'all? Dreams and hopes could also represent illusions. Hmm. Desiring many things when it comes to connections and relationships. Okay, spirit. But someone may have their head in the clouds about what's truly going on. Oh. Okay. You have the chariot and the tower. Hmm. Someone is wishing, wanting, desiring. Success and victory when it comes to connections with friends and family. But we have a tower moment. Necessary endings that will lead to greater beginnings. Spirit wants you to get out of your head, beloved. To know that those endings of those connections was necessary. Bring about greater beginnings in your life, more success, more victory. It is time for forward movement to progress and to get mental clarity about the truth of those connections. Are they codependencies? Are they trauma bonds? Are they the best for you? Are they supportive? Loving, caring, kind in the moment, or are you holding on to what you wish it could be? It was dreaming about the possibilities when reality is telling you it is time to move on, that your success of happiness. Lies in your future and not your past with this King of Wands. King of Wands, fire energy. Someone you were connected with, someone you were family with. This could have been a spouse who is now next. This could be a sibling. This could be a best friend, someone you consider family. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, fire energy. But we got strong Aries on the board. There was a family. There was a connection. You desired, you wished, you hoped for the best. You held on. You believed. And potential outweighing the current situation, but there was an ending. And that ending will be permanent and final. And if it has not come, it is on the way. We have a tower moment approaching 
forward movement heading in your direction. Removing this energy from your heart space because this is not a good connection. And if you are the King of Wands and you're watching, this is what is approaching. A destruction, a breaking down of, of a family setting, a connection. And it's fast approaching. This King Wands is in their head. Having moments of nostalgia, looking back, it's some dark energy. It's some dark energy about ending of a family. And this King of Wands could be looking to move towards this family, to return, to go back. To get it back, to receive it, to fulfill a dream that was never realized. This King of Wands could be missing this family, wishing and hoping they had done differently, made different choices. Now praying for success and victory of a renewal, of a reunion, after a town moment that has already occurred. But I see a lot of dark energy in the King of Wands. A lot of shadow work that still needs to be done. A lot of accountability that needs to be taken. Yeah, there it is. Impulsive, spontaneous, without a plan, without thought. Racing back towards this family connection. With a plan for success at all costs necessary. But with this energy being unstable, it will be unproductive. I'm making this up. Come through, spirit. Nostalgia. Memories of the past. How it used to be. How it was before this town moment hit. This family once was considered their wish fulfillment. All their dreams coming true. But there was an ending. Yeah. <laughs> there was an ending. Pain. Heartbreak, third party interference. This person is now making the hard decisions, the tough decisions, the painful decisions that are necessary to bring a change, to correct the wrong, to free themselves from this. Heartbreak. They want their family back. If you are not the King of Wands, if you are the Queen of Cups, the Empress, they're coming back for a second chance, another chance to get it right. I knew it. Deception, deceit, lies, gossip, shaming your name, speaking with others about you if you are this empress. Yeah. They are sitting somewhere in Herman mode. The 
thinking about all the times they lied on you. They talked down upon you. They set out to get others to join in on the conversation. People are walking away from them, no longer want to hear about it, no longer entertain the drama, no longer getting involved. They see that and they've been awakened to the reality of what went on in this connection. They know that there was third party interference, that this King of Wands allowed this breakup to happen because of their behavior, their poor choices. And now they're realizing, yeah, revelations. Stuck in their head, stuck in an illusionment, stuck in confusion about what to do to correct the situation. While you have been enlightened to what went on, what is being said, what was said, what was done. A light is being shown on the situation. What was hidden in the dark is coming to light. Yeah. This is the card of doing the research, getting the information, traveling abroad. Hmm, can I get more card for the two of wands spirit? What is this two of wands? What is this two of wands? What is this to a wand spirit? Okay. There you are, Queen of Cups. There you are, wish fulfillment. You were awakened to the fact that your life don't exist with this King of Wands. This is not your soulmate. This is not your true counterpart. You realize that your future belongs elsewhere. You realize that you hold the key to your world in your hands. And that there's so much more waiting for you on the other side of this ending. You're possibly planning to move or relocate. This could be part of your wish fulfillment to finally get away to a new environment where there's peace, joy, happiness for you and your family, your children, your child. Yeah. Success and victory. Your success and your victory comes in moving away, staying away. Moving the calmer waters to a new place, starting over. Focusing on your family and your finances and rebuilding what was lost. You could be looking into moving, relocating, a fresh new start in a fresh new place. This could be overseas, a new country, a new state across the water. This could be what you're manifesting with spirit. Then the cops is caring, kind, loyal. She's a mother. You have children. She has obligations to take care of. People trust the point of cops. They call her for advice, for knowledge. She's wise beyond her years. She, ex she has experienced a lot of life. A lot of love. Yeah. You are the wounded healer. 
Your experience has taught you who you are. Your experience has elevated you. You are now stronger, healing, more confident. You may be guarded at this time in matters of love, but you're still healing. Focusing on your money and taking care of your family, your children, is your goal at this moment. It's the success of your future lies in you being elsewhere, away from this energy, away from past connections that did not support you, that mistreat you, that abuse you, that use you. There it is. Expansion, traveling, moving on, looking ahead to better days, looking at the brighter side of things, expanding your wisdom and knowledge of self. You've matured, grown wiser and people are watching you could have a channel somehow you have a service you could be a motivational speaker a healer a giver somehow you've given more than you've received in a lifetime in this lifetime but you have people who have been watching your struggle, who know what you've been through. This could be family, friends, subscribers, customers, neighbors. People want to come to you and reward you for the hard work you've done, for what you've given. Show their accountability. Give you the accountability for your work. For your loving, caring nature, for your advice you've given, you've been an inspiration, you've been a guidance, you've been a teacher, you've been a mom. You're a lot to so many, and there are people that want to come forward and give back to you. Gifts, donations. They want to work with you. I don't know what you do for a living, but you may have a business of your own. People are looking at you. They want to work with you. Yeah. You're a healer. You're a healer. You could be a psychic, a Reiki, something you do. You offer services that heal others. You're being protected and guided by Archangel Michael at this time. You're an earth angel. Favored by God. At this moment, you're pouring into yourself. Giving back to yourself. You've chosen you. And you're being guided by spirit to continue to heal. You find healing and helping others. It's part of your purpose. And there are people that want to work with you. Learn from you. Come together with you. Gift you. Support you. Yeah. You're a magician. Manifesting your hopes and dreams and desires. Manifesting your own financial stability. Manifesting the life back that you lost. Manifesting a future you deserve. Come on now. Come on now. Why? Because you're God's gift to this world. Star energy. Healing energy. You are getting light to many.
the star brings exposure. You're being watched, studied. You're in the public eye. You have a channel through social media. Somehow, this could be how you provide a service online. Many are watching your healing process, and they are in awe of your beauty, your grace. There will be public acknowledgement coming your way in regards to some situation. There will be exposure in regards to some matter. Hmm. Giving and receiving. See that scale? Scale of justice. Someone bread comes you in the past, beloved. Someone didn't give what they should have, took more than they gave. I'm seeing a court official here, a judge, a lawyer, somehow it is being returned. If someone owes you, after a period of bread crumbing you, you see how they're taking from one individual, giving to another, the one in the blue who is the masculine who is being made to give to the feminine doesn't look happy. Almost looks like, why me? Why now? Or they didn't see it coming. Scales are being balanced. Justice is being served. Fairness is being given. If this is regarding your child or children, New soulmate, newly divine, newly divinely guided connection to replace that which was lost. Maybe you're getting a new mate, and this new soulmate will help balance your scales financially. Maybe this is the person that wants to come in and give to you, work with you, marry you. Maybe this person has watched and heard about your story and knows that you deserve to be treated better, to be loved better. Seeing your kindness and caring energy wants to come towards you to show you what real love feels like. Gives you equally, your equally yoked partner. Watching you, watching your channel, your business, seeing you as a healer, as a queen of cups. This person may live far away from you, possibly even in another country, but this person is going to figure it out, how to get to you. They are manifesting you at this moment. You are the star in their eye. Yeah, Spirit is going to give you an emperor, a boss, energy, a leader, an entrepreneur, a protector, believes in family and stability, taking care of responsibilities, in control of their own destiny. Looking for their queen, their emperor. Their, their, ooh, looking for their queen, their empress. Or the emperor. It is what it is. The emperor and feminine energy. For those in the same sex relationship. Either way, you're about to get someone who's going to boss you up. 
put some stability in your, on your name and some true love in your heart. For some, this emperor is the fall of your children, this ex that wants to return, that has now figured out that they want to work with you, work on this connection, because you are the star. They have been, they have not been able to heal, manifest, since you left. This is them now. Facing the illness, battling disease, health issues. They come out of their moon energy, awaken to the realization that you were their wish fulfillment all along. Making the hard decisions to take accountability for what they've done to this connection. For others, you're receiving new love. Those who are not going back, new love for you. Those who have old love coming back that was a soulmate, was supposed to fulfill a contract, now realizing that you are the one, you're going to have to make a tough decision, my love. Because they're coming through. New love, old love. And Spirit is telling you, <laughs> come on, Spirit. I'm speaking to someone who has ascended, who has awakened, who has stepped into their purpose, who is enlightened, a magical being. That is you. The decision will not be tough because you already know all this. This is just confirmation. As if you need it, you don't. It's a highly connected, intuitive, spiritual being. This is the earth angel, a star seed. This is a chosen one. You. But you know that already, don't you? Decision won't be hard. Spirit is just telling you to get ready for what is coming through that you will have to deal with. Or not. But if you choose to, then this is letting you know. You have an ex, the father of your children, your husband, your mate, that soulmate that broke your heart, broke a family. Gossip and lied on you, spread rumors about you, blames you when it was them all along. Coming back through, seeking a fresh new beginning, a fresh new start, after an ending, come on now, the spirit says beware of why they maybe want to come back. Do you not see the justice card with the knight of pentacles? The knight is the slowest moving energy in the, in the tarot deck. But it does represent prosperity coming your way. Slow moving could just be a matter of weeks, months, justice. You have a court case open with this ex, child support, paternity, custody, alimony, whatever they owe you is coming through. It's coming, beloved. You shall receive what is due you. This is a judge staying on the high court, making a decision. This is a success, excuse me, this is success and victory. Giving to you. This may be the reason why they're coming through so quickly. Trying to slow down. You were seeing this decision in court. 
Yeah. Challenges, arguments, disagreements, fights. A group of people possibly this group of people that they are sending, associating, communicating with about this court decision. They're coming forth to stop this from happening. Maybe start a fight with you, an argument, challenge the decision. But we've got success and victory already on the table. We've got them messing around with an earth angel. Highly protected. You are ready to start. You're one of God's favorites. Can no man stop what God has begun? Can no man stop what God has put into motion? As above, so below. Tomorrow belongs to God. No man can stop destiny or flow. And from us, what I see is you will be rewarded with a favorable decision in your favor in this court case. And they're rushing in to try to stop the outcome of them having to pay out. They're trying to convince you, yeah. Trying to convince you that they want to come together with you and support you, celebrate with you. But they're still involved with third parties. They're still involved with third parties. That could be this group of people. Comments. They don't want you to get money that they want. Or that they're already receiving. And knowing that if this emperor has to pay out to you, this king of wands, that's for them. To be their mother, siblings, karmic third parties that they're with, baby mamas, family, whoever else is benefiting from them, yeah. Whoever else is benefiting from them doesn't want to see you prosper. Contemplating on how they can stop you from prospering. Trying to figure out if they can keep you from receiving the other six of your coins. Yeah. Your ex. Your ex. You were married to this person. Well, you still are. Yeah. Come on now. Empress, there you are. And there's your divorce. This is someone you are divorcing. Someone speaking ill about you constantly with your name in their mouth. Talking about you. This could also be a judge favoring the empress. Making a decision that the empress should receive what the empress should do. The empress is prosperous. The empress is prosperous, fertile, and abundant. That is your future energy. Because God says so. You're an earth angel. Yeah, deception, as I said earlier, deceit. This is also the card of stealing, someone taking what is yours, 
hiding it from you, keeping it from you. The King of Swords, that person you divorced or divorcing, your ex, trying to hold back on you receiving what is yours. But guess what, beloved? Judgment always comes through for the righteous. The fat lady has sung. The angels have sounded the horn. There will be judgment. There will be judgment. Set. And we're in favor of the righteous. The Empress represents, is represented by Taurus energy. You could be a Taurus. You don't have to be. It could be your Venus. We use signs loosely as they're represented by the cars. Come on now. But this can represent any. Empress can be a very zodiac sign. Yeah. Judgment against the devil is receiving judgment. The devil is receiving judgment. Your ancestors is on that ass. Because they stole from you. They breadcrumbed you. They trying to stop you from receiving your just due. Trying so hard not to invest in you, but they will. They will. Trying to hold on to everything they got as tight as they can, but they will be made to invest. Mm -hmm. Trying to hide shit from you, trying to hide it from the law. Trying to keep you bonded and tied to them in this codependent relationship. But you walked away. You freed yourself. You said no more. And so they're scheming. Coming up with ways to get you to not receive this investment. This financial stability. This money they owe you. And then I'll take two final cards and I'm going to let you go for this reading. I have others to post. <laughs> Check out my other videos that are going to be uploaded today. They're going to be good. You don't want to miss them. Yeah. There's your king of cups, beloved. Look how they're feeling right now. They're feeling bonded, tied, limited. They don't know what to do. They can't see beyond the current situation. They feel imprisoned, like in a mental prison. You know what? For some of you, your king of cups is already in prison. For some of you, your king of cups is currently in jail. If you have not heard from them in months, you don't know what's going on. This person may already be in prison. Or for some, they're in prison of the mind and the spirit. Because they are connected to some demonic energies that have latched on to them. Somehow, messing with all these karmics, engaging in low vibrational energies. Behaviors. They may have taken on some illnesses, some diseases. Oh, here. This individual also, for some of you, has been lying to the public, to anyone who will listen, trying to say. That you have 
some illnesses. Possibly SEDs. Something else going on. Try to keep others from finding you desirable or worthy of love to come towards you. That's for some. Individuals spring rumors and gossip and lies about your health. Because they don't want to see you in a new relationship receiving this soulmate coming through. But divinely guided means it won't miss you. God set that in motion. It won't miss you. You have no worries. This person is strong, confident, intelligent, thinks for themselves. They're not worried about rumors or haters or exes that you've closed out a cycle with. That you put an end to, close the door, lock the door, the way the key is over, beloved, is ended. Because you are the high priestess. And this King of Pentacles, who has enough to give, who's always had enough, that's been bread coming you. Holding you hostage financially. Juggling. Karmics. Trying to keep up a status. Play his energy. So it says that's damn right. That's confirmation. You're about to become the Queen of Pentacles. You're about to become the Queen of Pentacles. And they know it. They know it. Because God says so. Because God says so. Your life is about to be restored in magical ways. Joy, peace, harmony. Rejuvenation, regeneration, restoration. Because the judge is going to say so. In your favor. And everything you desire. Or this king of wands was now a page. Immature. Feeling left out in the cold. Spirit wants it that way. Spirit has rendered karmic justice. These are acts of God that are taking place. Because you are out here shining, healing, blowing up, becoming independent. Taking control of your life back. Singling and mingling. Looking better than what you've ever gone through. Nothing like what you've gone through. Trying to get back upon your feet. Trying to renew your life. You wish they would. Try to impede on your happiness. When you finally got back on your feet. Finally found your way. You wish they would. You ready. And your ancestors got your back. If a war is what they want, your ancestors is ready. Okay, well, if I keep pulling cards with it, it's just one happy story after the next. <laughs> and I need to let you go. <laughs> Like, share, subscribe, comments, send a love donation, cash out PayPal or below. No donation is too small. Send me a dollar eleven. One more one. If you want to book a more personal reading, the email is below.
Oh, happy, oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. When Jesus washed, when Jesus washed, when Jesus washed, when Jesus washed, they washed my sins away. Oh, happy day. Come on, girl. King, queen. Your happy day is approaching. All is about to be over. Your life is about to be able to begin for the better. Thank your ancestors, your first line defense. Thank. Celebrate yourself for your strength to overcome and to elevate. You are the it. You are the it. And everybody knows it. Until we meet again, as within, so without. As above, so below. Congratulations, my friend. I say.